Hello, everybody. Uh, I am going to do a quick stock video to end the week and kind of, you know, days like today where we have like big movements, we can pump up the time frames to, you know, dailies and weekly charts and so on and see where kind of price might end up next week. Of course, you know, be cautious given all the news coming out and, you know, you know, whose tweets move in markets and so on or comments and so on. So I want to dig into the charts a little bit on some uh, different stock symbols that people sent me this week. And uh, first one I want to jump right into is, hold on one second, sometimes my screen flashes when I move a, a chart into here. But uh, this is gold. This is the gold futures. But what I really wanted to actually look at was GC. Well, we'll start here and then we'll move to GLD. All right. So here's the gold futures. And you'll see I have some lines above current price. Um, it's kind of far back. About five years ago is the level that I'm looking at. But if I just scroll all the way to my left and boom, you see these two levels here. Um, these really could just be combined into two, but you'll see price kind of went up, topped out, and then just boom, dropped like a rock from there. So we're about to knock on the front line. Well, not quite yet, but I wouldn't be shocked if we get some more bad news next week. You know, price ends up in here. Uh, be cautious and use, like I, I have Forex Factory up. I was just looking to see what is coming next week and uh, be on top of that because that will affect the market. Things that you can, could, things that are predictable you should jump in front of or things that are known um, as opposed to like Trump's tweets or his comments on you know TV or whatever. You can't do anything about that. You just have to be prepared and manage risk accordingly. But uh, things like news announcements usually are pre-planned or economic announcements, I should say. Um, let me change this to GLD or see if I have the other chart up. So there it is. Wait one second. Give that a second to clear up. Now, this is super tight. I know this is hard to see, but just work with me a little. Um, this front line is just to identify where price is right now. And then I'll widen it out. Here, let me widen it out now. There we go. Oh, too far. All right, so here's today's current bar. You'll see that big explosive move on the retaliatory tariffs by China. Um, if I go to my left now, just like I did with gold futures, I want to say the gold futures look like a little closer, but uh, somehow they'll 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 catch up with each other. Move over. Almost there. Boom. All right, so this is nothing. That's just to identify where price is currently. So let me take that line off. And then if you go up here and you see this blue oval that I drew just to identify the two little levels, this looks almost the same as as uh, the gold futures. Um, so let me identify these two. First level being right there. That one right there. You could just draw it the way I did with the blue oval where I just identified that whole part, but let me keep them separate for now. Obviously, this isn't a great sell-off from there, but this is fantastic. Look at that gap, and then boom, boom. It just felt like a rock that year. Um, so we're not too far from there. Let me just see where we are in current price, 144, right? So, yeah, I've still got a ways to go, but, you know, we're getting closer, and... Uh, these higher time frame levels we get into these areas definitely be something to be interested in to be short um, whether you're buying puts or you know some call, you know some calls whatever um, or just shorting stock you know depending on uh, your cup of tea here this is some really nice action in GLD and the gold futures but since I want to focus on the uh, equity symbols uh, the next one someone sent me was Facebook. So it looks like I did this work already. Oh, okay. So I have an area of interest here. It's kind of in there now. Um, I don't love this. That's why I labeled it an area of interest and not like a specific setup. Um, so I'm going to take it off because I, I wouldn't put money behind it. I'm not going to tell anybody else to do it. So hang on. Look this up. But there's one lower right around one, just below 170. This little area, this rally base, nice rally there. I like that a lot. 
Um, still a ways to wit, ways to go here, but again, we, we've had such some negative drift down the last couple weeks. I wouldn't be shocked if it touches down in this vicinity. Um, I like this level. I'll take it. Uh, some good good stuff here, and it's funny enough. Let me go to the next thing I was going to look at is Apple. And some levels I identified a few days ago, getting a little closer. And this in here is no longer something that was a, a level that you could have uh, went long on the last week. You'll see what price kind of dropped from in there, hit a level in here that was on a 195. And let me clean this up a little because this needs some work. A little ways to go to get it into there, but that's a possible entry point for something right around 185. Tighten that up. So with nothing on to hold it up, uh, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if this selling continues down into this area. Again, keep an eye on news, um, or excuse me, announcements, and then just make sure you're managing risk accordingly. I pay robo. I can't do all these, you guys. I mean, so hold on one second. I try. I pay robo. I don't even know what robo is. Uh, no good. Nothing here for me to comment on. V T I. No, I mean, this is just nothing here either. I'll look the spy, definitely. I'm going to look at some spy. <sighs> so, all in here is beat up. Touch, touch, touch. You know, is it going to hold? I have no idea. Um, I would expect price to just splice right through it, like so. So let's just say we open where we close on Monday, give or take. Uh, the next place for, you know, some support to come in is right there at, like, the 271 mark. Um, that's a relatively small level for a daily chart. Uh I'd be really careful with that one. Um, this is not Beckon, a really bullish case for uh, the market, but you know that's just what the charts are looking at. I'm gonna, I react, I don't predict. So keep an eye on these levels. What did we look at here? Let me get the list. We looked at Apple, Facebook, GLD, and I used the gold futures con contract uh, to start us off too, just because you know, obviously it's gonna look just like GLD, but that's some good trades in there. Um, SPY doesn't have anything significant, but this is also telling you something about market conditions. Uh, the Apple and Facebook levels look really good, and GLD, we just got to, it's being patient for all, both of those. Um, if I find anything else in the meantime, I will send it over to you, but I uh, wanted to share the kind of market outlook equities uh, as we close out the week, and then I will uh, talk to everybody soon. Have a good weekend.